So as some of you may know, the iPhone SE fourth generation is about to be coming out in a you know very, very soon fashion. As you probably know at this point, the iPhone SE 4 is going to be that next generation cheap iPhone. And from all the reports and rumors that we're seeing, it's looking to me that Apple needs this iPhone more than they ever needed it before. You have to remember that with these cheaper iPhones, these are devices that are going to be, you know, basically taking up a market share from a specific group of phones that a lot of other, you know, devices haven't really kind of pocketed in as much as Samsung has. Samsung has a lock on their budget devices. And if I ever see some sort of cheap phone, it's almost always a Samsung Galaxy device. If it's not, if it's, it's maybe, maybe like an older iPhone or something. But, you know, Samsung has done a great job at taking over that budget tier marketplace. Google's trying to do it, but nobody's really done as good of a job as, you know, Samsung. Now, Apple has probably the highest likelihood of fixing this type of, I guess, skew in the market of where Samsung is just going to go through and just dominate if they, if no one, if no other manufacturer kind of dominates and, you know, after. So with the iPhone SE 4 generation, I actually do think there could be several different iPhones Apple could end up making. So there could be this cheaper type of iPhone that could be in maybe like an iPhone SE 3 type of body. Then there's going to be the iPhone SE 4, which is going to be replicating kind of like the iPhone 14. There's going to be something along those lines. And that is going to be something that's going to be absolutely crazy. And I'm so looking forward to this, you know, whenever this you know, particular thing comes out, because it's going to be one of the craziest things ever. Imagine Apple dropping the iPhone SE 3 body with like a, you know, maybe Apple A16 body chip inside of it, maybe the A17 when it comes out, but most probably the A16 or A17, let's just call it that. And then it's going to have maybe a $299 price tag. That is going to be a much better deal than the iPhone SE 3 at what, $429 or whatever it is. So that right there is another very big thing to keep in mind. So that's what the iPhone SE 3. Now, the iPhone SE 4th generation, this is going to be that iPhone that's going to be bringing that newer type of body, the iPhone 14, iPhone 12 type of body. It's going to be giving us a better display, maybe Touch ID. But if this iPhone can end up being sold at $499, that empty price slot that Apple is currently selling, you know, no iPhone at, imagine having an iPhone at $299, $399, and then $499. That could have a really pretty big impact on Samsung. That could have a pretty big impact on Samsung side because on that particular device, you're essentially getting the you know there's not really that much of a competition their phones go up to 500 for their a series for the most part and apple could end up doing the same thing for their se line so i think there's a humongous chance where apple can go ahead and dominate if they just kind of take things a little bit smarter here and there and i think that's a greater idea for sam for for apple where they can kind of start taking over some market share from from you know samsung so i'd love to hear your thoughts about this let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.